Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I have 20 eyeshadows in front of me. You know what's crazy is I filmed this intro twice and in both times I say there are 20 eyeshadows in front of me. There are 16. There are eight groups of two and I apparently cannot count. So just ignore me when I say the amount of eyeshadows. And the concept of this video is going to be eyeshadows that are not dupes but might as well be. By that I mean within each group of eyeshadows there will be slight differences whether it's texture, tone, shift, but ultimately I do think they're similar enough that if you have one you don't need the other or if you're trying to make a decision I would say just pick one based on what sounds better to you. This is all based on my opinion. It's all relative. Some people don't like when I say you don't need both of something and to that I say I don't think you need both. We're all adults here like literally every single one of us is an adult according to my analytics so you know what's best for for you i know it's best for me i'm just sharing my opinion so i did film eye swatches for every single one of these groups i did one on one eye and one on the other i think that's the best way to tell really how it's going to translate i mean i can swatch these all day long but it's not going to tell the full story so i did do eye swatches i filmed the eye swatches before i filmed the rest of the footage and when i filmed the rest of the footage i had i did have a few drinks <laughs> So I don't know if it's going to be in the exact same order, but I will like label everything and say it out loud. So hopefully it's easy to follow. Let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, so this is the first set of eyeshadows that I have. On the left, I have Verdant Frost from Davina. This is from one of their more recent releases, the Phantom Orbs collection. And this is Aura Morgalia from Terra Moons. This is from their fall 2022 release, I believe. These are both very similar in that they're both like semi-sheer peachy multichromes that shift to gold, green, and a tiny bit of teal from a certain angle. They look like on my finger. On the left is Aura Morgalia and on the right is Verdant Frost. So you can see that they are very similar in terms of shifts, but the texture is different. There's a little bit more texture and pieciness to Aura Morgalia, whereas with Verdant Frost, it's like very, very like smooth smooth and almost velvet. I'm going to do Verdant Frost on the top and I'm going to do Aura Morgalia on the bottom. Both of these I received in PR from the brands by the way. So I feel like you can kind of see the difference in texture here. Verdant Frost is just that very like almost satin like velvet finish and then Aura Morgalia is a tiny bit sparkly and a little bit textured but overall I would say it's more smooth. I recorded this so I would know which was which when I was editing but I wanted to leave it in the video because I think it's a terrifying image to open up with. So anyway, on the left eye, we have, wait, which side, which is my left eye? We're just going to go with like left and right of the screen. Okay, so the one on the left side of the screen is Aura Morgalia, and the one on the right side is Verdant Frost. So I'm going to apply them both the same way that I always do with my finger. And I will say one thing I noticed is that I did have to pick up a lot less product with Aura Morgalia to get it to apply in an even layer. With Verdant Frost, it's almost like it's harder pressed in the pan because I had to swirl my finger in a few times to get the same amount of product. It did apply in an even layer, but as you can see here, I did have to go back in a couple times. Okay, and sorry, I didn't get much footage of me just showing them for these two, but I promise I do for the rest of the shades. The next two are both from Terra Moons, and if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've heard me talk about this before. On the left, we have Prism Skies from one of their more recent releases. This one I was sent in PR, by the way. And then on the right, we have Shattered Stars, and I believe this was released either last year or 2021. And to me, these are virtually the same exact shade. They both have like a cool tone muted purple base that almost translates as like a gray and they shift to gold green teal so the main difference is in texture prism sky is a lot more textured and sparkly and shattered stars is a lot more smooth so let me swatch them side by side so here they are both on my fingers on the left is shattered stars and on the right is prism skies 
I think you can really see what I'm talking about here. They both have the like muted purpley base and they almost look gray, but then they have those gold to green to teal to blue shifts. I absolutely love both of these shades, but I just don't think anyone needs them. So let me swatch them out. I'm going to do prism skies on the top. And shattered stars on the bottom. I also feel like Prism Skies has like some multicolored sparkles mixed in. So that's another small difference. But as you can see, like they really translate the same. And you'll see in my eye swatches, it's kind of hard to tell the difference on the eyes. Like you really need to be looking for those subtle differences. So here I am again looking like Coraline with these little eyeshadows. I'm going to start with Prism Skies on the left side of the screen. Still not determined if this is my left or right eye. And once again, I'm applying these by swirling my finger around in the pan and tapping it on my lid, which is how I apply pretty much every multi-chrome eyeshadow. In terms of actually applying these, I don't really think there's too much of a difference. I didn't have to pick up any more of one or the other and they went on pretty smooth and evenly on both eyes. The main difference is, is how they appear, like Prism Skies is a little bit more textured and sparkly, Shattered Stars is more of like a smooth finish. And here I am, I'm just taking the flash on my phone and kind of going around my eyes so you can see the dimension and sparkle. Okay, so the next two, on the, on the left, I have Terrestrial from Terra Moons. On the right, I have Bloodline from Cleona, which is Repan. And these are both very, very similar. They both have, like, a muted, like, burgundy base. And they shift from gold to green to teal to blue. Very similar to the last two shades we went over. I actually found out from Millie, from Bad to the Brows video, she first pointed out how similar these are. It's very true in person. Here are finger swatches. On the left is Terrestrial and on the right is Bloodline. Terrestrial's a bit more like shiny and Bloodline's a bit more textured and sparkly. And the other main difference is that te uh, Terrestrial is more of like a muted, almost pink base. And I would say Bloodline is more of like a burgundy. So let's swatch them. I'm gonna do Bloodline on top. And terrestrial on the bottom. So you can see the slight differences in tone here. Terrestrial is a bit cooler tone and bloodline is a bit warmer tone. But I think you'll really see how they translate on the eyes. And personally, if I wasn't a content creator, I would probably declutter one or the other. But it's useful to have both for comparisons and reference. If I had to pick just one, I would probably choose Terrestrial. I just really, really like this formula. But, but Bloodline is a cult classic from Cleona for good reason. I just want to say present me is hating past me for switching the order on like literally every single one of these. So anyway, on the left side of the screen, we have Bloodline from Cleona. And on the right side, we have Terrestrial from Terra Moons. I'm not going to repeat myself every single time, but as you can see, I'm applying them the same way. I would say they apply exactly the same with a finger, and I would say the product dis distributes pretty much the same way too. In terms of the like actual finish on the eyes, I think the difference is minimal. You can see with Bloodline, it is reading a little bit warmer, and I think it does have a bit more sparkle to it, but in person, it's not going to be very apparent the difference between them. They are both super beautiful shades, but again, I just don't think you need both. Next two are another Terra Moons versus Cleona comparison. So on the left, we have Vela Supernova from Terra Moons. And on the right, we have Queen's Banquet from Cleona. This one I was sent in PR. And these are both like a variation on the like typical magenta to gold to green shifting multichrome, like the very ubiquitous type of multichrome you see in like every palette that has a multichrome. The difference is neither of these have a black base. 
Okay, here are finger swatches, and I would say Vela Supernova feels more textured. In this footage, it looks about the same amount of texture, but I feel like in real life, feel more like PC and textured. Queen's Banquet does have a little bit of texture and like almost grit to it. It's maybe a smaller particle size, so let's swatch them side by side. Uh, I'm gonna do, okay, Queen's Banquet on top. And then Vela Supernova on the bottom. So Queen's Banquet has a little bit more depth to it. I feel like Vela Supernova almost has more of like a dragon scale effect. But I mean, on the eyes, they look a lot more similar and you'll see that in my eye swatches. I really like both of these. I don't know if I could pick a favorite, but I don't think the average person needs both. I think just pick which one you like better. Okay, and here on the left side of the screen, we have Vela Supernova, and on the right side, we have Queen's Banquet. I'm just going to kind of speed through the part of me applying them. It's going to be the same for all of them, because that's how I always apply my eyeshadow. But I would say they applied pretty much the same way. The main difference is that particle size. Now, looking at this footage, they do look a little bit more different than what I remembered. But in person, I feel like they do look super, super similar. The main difference is Queen's Banquet reads a bit deeper and a bit cooler toned. Vela Supernova is more of like almost a true magenta and I feel like Queen's Banquet's almost purple. Okay, so the next two are from Terra Moons. This is from, I believe their summer 2022 release. On the left is Martian Dust. And on the right is Aurora Australis. And I actually dropped this and had to repress it, so that's why it looks weird. These both came out in the same release at the same time. And I, I received the whole release in PR. And I was kind of confused at first because I thought like I was sent the same shade twice by mistake. But they are different shades. They're both red to orange to gold to green shifting multicrown. They both have a very, very similar texture. Kind of PC and flaky, but not like super chunky like some of their newer releases. Martian Dust is on the left and Aurora Australis is on the right. So Martian Dust does have like a warmer base to it. And Aurora, Aurora Australis is like a bit cooler tone, but I would say they are very, very, very similar in person. And another difference, I think Aurora Australis has like a little bit more of a blackened base to it. At least it's more visible. So let me swatch them. I'm gonna do okay, Aurora Straws on the top. I'm gonna actually add a tiny bit more. And then Martian does on the bottom. So you can see like the way they shift is literally identical. And the main difference is that like base tone. Martian Dust on the bottom is warmer, and Aurora Australis on top is cooler. They're both in the red territory, and hopefully you can see that black and base does show through a little bit more on Aurora Australis. Okay, so here on the left side of the screen, I have Martian Dust, and on the right side, I have Aurora Australis. And they do apply exactly the same way. I think the formula is pretty much identical for these. And again, the main difference is that like kind of cooler tone in Austra Aurora Australis and the more blackened base. But I think literally if you put Martian dust over like a deeper base, you would achieve a very similar effect. Here you can see what I'm talking about. Like they are very, very, very similar on the eyes. Okay, the next two are, again, both from Terra Moons. On the left is a Protostar. On the right is Zenith. 
And these, again, I was sent both of these in PR from the brand. And these both have a, like, almost blackened base. And they have shifts from, from, like, a fiery red to orange to gold to green. And the main difference is that Protostar seems to have, like, a lot of different sparkle colors mixed in. Whereas Zenith seems to be, like, just straight up the shifting pigment. Hopefully you can see what I mean here in these finger swatches. So Zenith is on the le on the right and Protostar is on the left. And you can kind of see here, there's just a lot more going on with Protostar. So it's more dimensional, whereas Zenith is more of just like that straight up shifting pigment. Let's swatch them side by side. I'm going to do Zenith on top. And then Protostar on the bottom. So Protostar translates to being a little bit warmer tone. But as you can see, they have almost those same exact shifts. I would say the difference is almost kind of like the last two we went over, Martian Dust and Aurora Australis. Whereas like one's warmer and one's cooler tone, but they are still like shifting the same and the bases appear to be very very similar it's like a blackened like green or teal if i had to keep just one i do think i prefer protostar i just feel like it's more dimensional and nuanced but they're both just like insane and beautiful i think you if you like this type of multichrome you would like either one on the left we have zenith and on the right side of the screen we have protostar and i would say these do apply differently zenith is flakier and has a larger particle size i believe while protostar is more of like a pc sparkle it is textured but not quite as flaky so it was a bit easier to apply and work with I do like the formula of Zenith too, it's just different than Protostar, but I think they do look super similar on the eyes. You can see Protostar has a bit more going on and more dimension. Okay, the next two are <laughs> from Terra Moons again. I swear I'm not a hater, they just have a lot of similar shapes. These are both like teal based multichrome that shift pink to gold to green. This is Perihelion, I was sent this one in PR. And then on the right is Big Dipper. I did purchase this myself. Okay, so as you can see, these both have a pretty intense teal base. I actually think these are the two most different out of any of the I have gone over. The difference mainly lies in the tones that they shift. You'll see it more in the eye swatches, but in terms of texture, they're very similar. Um, they're both kind of chunky, but not like super intense flaky. They both have a relatively opaque base, although Big Dipper is definitely a lot more of an opaque base. Let me swatch. I'm going to do Big Dipper on top. And Perihelion on the bottom. So the shifts, as you can see, are a lot less similar than any of the other ones we've gone over. Big Dipper is more of like a soft pink to gold to green to teal. And then Perihelion is more of like a fiery hot pink to gold to green. At the end of the day, they're both teal multichromes that shift to like pink and gold and green. One is just a bit more like spicy and one is more soft. But I do think the base in Big Dipper is a lot more potent. Okay, so here on the left side we have Big Dipper and on the right side we have Perihelion because why would they be on the same sides as before? I would say the main difference in terms of application would be the opacity of the base. Big Dipper is just a lot more of a straight up teal base and Perihelion has a tiny bit more sheerness to it, but the overall effect is that teal really does show through. 
and you can see perihelion is just a lot more spicy on the eyes but overall you still have that like pink to gold to green shift so i i would say like just go with whether you want like a softer or more potent one okay here is the last group on the left is revenge from shine by sd and this was one of my first multi-crumbs ever so i have gotten a lot of use out of this for a while this is one of the only multi-crumbs that i actually owned so i was using it like crazy on the right is midnight nova from davina this one i was set in pr and these both have like a periwinkle base and they shift from like a purple pink to gold to green okay so midnight nova is more textured and revenge is more like smooth and shiny the shine by sc formulas are all a bit drier which I know I mention like every video, but I just like to remind people because it is something to get used to. But as you can see, the tones of these are like literally identical. And both of these stain, by the way. Okay, so these are like literally, to me, they're indistinguishable. The very slight difference lies in the texture, but to be honest, I would just use these interchangeably. I definitely don't think you need both if you have one or the other. I Someone in my comments does have both and they really love using both of them. So this is just my opinion and in my opinion, you don't need both, but use your own discretion. Okay, so on the left we have Revenge from Shine by SC, and on the right we have Midnight Nova from Davina. And honestly, I am declaring that these are dupes. They are literally identical on the eyes. I think I included them in this video because the texture is somewhat different, but I mean, it's splitting hairs, like they're dupes. Like I said, the Shine by SC formula is drier and the particle size is smaller. I think the Davina formula, the particle size is a bit larger and it's a bit softer, but I mean, they apply pretty much the same and I think they look exactly the same on the eyes. So that's about it for this video. Let me know, do you disagree with any of my findings? Do you think any of these are different enough to warrant owning both? Did you learn anything new? Let me know, I have about 8 million more of these in my collection, so this is definitely gonna be an ongoing series on my channel. Let me know if there's anything in specific that you wanna see in the next one. Uh, keep in mind, most of my eyeshadows are from Terra Moons, Shine by SD, Cleona, and Davina. So I don't have a lot from like, other indie brands i hope you enjoyed watching this i hope it was helpful um give it a thumbs up please if you did and that's all for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one bye